participants at the review meeting of the Small Inclusive Education Nigeria want, to ab want the abolition of special schools for people living with disabilities. They say for Nigeria to achieve inclusive education, every child must learn under one roof. Helena Samide Aikens reports. The right to education for all has been entrenched in the international law since the adoption of all the Universal Declaration of Human Rights in 1948. While the world has seen great stride in increasing enrollment, literacy rates and access to education, inclusive education is yet to receive the necessary attention it deserves. People with disabilities are still far from receiving quality and inclusive education. To ensure inclusion of these persons irrespective of their disability, stakeholders at this review meeting say children with disabilities should be allowed to learn in the mainstream schools like other children without disabilities. The believe specialized schools have caused many disabled children to lose out on education due to limited specialized schools in the country. We have this uh, segregation of having them in different schools and we're expecting that at the end of the day when they grow up they are going to mingle with the same society they will find it difficult to do that because they have been segregated from the beginning and as children so this segregated schools may not be close by but the regular school may be very close by so it will give that child that does not have the opportunity to go to that far away school the opportunity to get education from this nearby uh, place SDG 4 if we are going to achieve SDG 4, Sustainable Development Goal 4, for education, then we need to put the right things in place, spend a bit more money, which our country and state can afford. I say that with pride. They can afford it. So if they spend more money on education of persons with disabilities. The SMI Inclusive Education Project is targeted at developing a locally driven sustainable and scalable model of disability inclusive education in Nigeria. The project is to be implemented over a period of two years and nine months from January 2021 to September 2023. To develop a realistic and effective model for disability inclusion in mainstream schools, there must be conscious efforts to ensure that a national policy on inclusion is implemented. Helen Osamede Akins, TVC News, Abuja.